what other feelings have you got there? This is evil. Well, there's a big coffin here. <laughs> oh. I don't know if there's anything in it. It's... I think oh. it's padlocked. And there's just horrible pictures of, like, brains and skeletons and things. It's not very nice. Um, Yvette Fielding, how can you leave those poor girls there on their own? Well, I we mean, had to, we had to come back no. here. We had. Oh, Sally, you'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> can we come back? Oh, we had to. We had to get back here, and we because of the feelings that we were feeling, we actually thought it would be a shame to sort of just drop the camera and run. Because as you know, with Most Haunted Live, you know, we can't spend the time that we would love to spend. So we thought it'd be great just to leave the camera there. Okay. Now let's just talk about this silk mill. That for me was the highlight, Derek, of of tonight, because I. I really, really like that. Um, you know, the fact that you came out with this name, the poor boy screaming with the blood coming from Absolutely. his head. No Isaac, this horrible... He was a little boy called Jeremiah, you said. Yes. How, how convinced were you about that? Absolutely. If there was 110%, it's 110%. The little boy perished there through the hands, actually kicking physical abuse downstairs. It was horrible. It was okay. last moment. It was horrible. You haven't seen this. Let's show you what's happened tonight. And, you know, I get this feeling uh, that's been emitted from this energy as if I've got a, a form of, the only way I can describe it, the form, and it's come to me here and surrounded me, a form of um, um, depravity. Mm -hmm. That's what, the only way I can describe it. And mm. it's making me feel, not physically sick, but it's make, taking on this energy, which I want to come off me, is making me feel as if I want to book, want to be sick. Really? Oh, God, I hate this. This has got a horrible... Oh, God. Oh my God! Be careful. Oh, oh the God. smell! It's horrible up here. Yeah. Oh. Come on, Sam, you have to help me with this. Come on. <gasps> Who was that? Who was that? Okay. Did you do that? Yeah. You did. Okay. I've just seen a little boy, and this little boy is screaming. He's screaming, and there's someone on above him, and it's like as if he's bleeding. He's bleeding from here. He's bleeding from the ears. He can't move. This is the feeling I've got. Yeah, take it off me. Take it off me, please. Sam, help. Take it off. And look at that horrible. There's a man that's looking over him, and he's screaming. He's screaming. No, Isaac. No, Isaac. Please, please. And this man's looking over him. He's, he's, he's beat him. He's beat him and he's beat him. Oh, look, he's fallen down the stairs. He's gone right down. Yes. Shut him down. No, no. Why is it stuck on the bus? Don't stuck on the bus. No. Oh, open the bloody door. Close the door. It's jammed. Right, up, up. Is she okay? Right. Why did you do that? What's that? Is she okay? Yes, I'm fine. She just screams. She's in the lift and she stops at one car. Yes! Come on, can you press this? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm just seeing that. Evie! Why did she's you... gone down. Oh, she's down now. She's down. Carl? Oh. Yeah, I'm down. From the ground floor. There's no being there. Well done, Jeremiah. Do it again. Bring it down. Come on. It's bring gone. It down. It's got. It's moved off on its own. We've not. We've not pressed any of the buttons. It's just moved off on its own, and it's gone up to level two, and it's jammed. You've got to turn the key to make the lift go up. Yeah. And it's just gone off on its own. No one no sent the lift up. It's a little lad. There's a doctor. There's a doctor. Yeah. There's doctor's conditions. Come on, give me more. Give me more. I feel sick. Yeah, it's horrible, isn't it? I feel sick. That's all emanating from the residual energy. I'm not just I'm saying that, Kieran. I, yeah. I am genuinely feeling a bit sick. Mm. I think maybe the smell as well. It's mm. absolutely horrific in here. There's all kinds. There's body. There's bits. There's the stomach and intestines, there's hearts, there's everything in here. Do Tom. Oh, Jesus, you're you okay? right. Yeah. What's the matter? In the back of you. Uh, I can't see any. 
No. I just thought I thought I heard a. Oh no. Touched my ear. Derek, you were very moved watching that. How do you summarise tonight? Well, I, I, the way I summarise it, tonight we had um, not just um, individual activity, we had all this residual, negative residual. You know, tonight was something, you know, it was rather sickly. And Yvette? Tonight was amazing for me, the lift particularly and down in the cellar. Um, and I think tomorrow night is going to be even better. Because, of course, this is only night one of three. Yes, yeah. Yes. I mean, and it's really, really made us all really excited. Think, oh, good grief, yeah. if this is night one, what's going to happen on night two? Absolutely. Yeah. OK, let's just join Kath and Sally back in the cellar for one last time. Oh. Hello. Hello. Hi. Anything there to report? We, we're, just, we're just staying as still as we can. It's horrible down here. I have to say, I, touching our heads. It's horrible. I think you've done fantastically well. I think it's time to come back and join us here. Thank you for, oh, for what you. you've done tonight. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Also, I do want to say thank you to Helen as well. Uh, Helen John uh, from South Wales. I can assure you that she is really fine now, and I'm very pleased about that. Thank you, of course, to our audience members who have taken part tonight. And it only remains for me to say thank you to everyone, to Interactive, and of course to David Wells. Thank you to the historians, they've been great as usual. Matthew's been a real sport, the investigative team, and of course, Derek and Yvette. Now, tomorrow, we will nine o'clock live here on Living TV. Now, with just one night to go before the summer solstice, the paranormal activity is really heating up here in Derby and we should be sending members of our audience off to join our investigators to many promising haunted premises. Now, for instance, they'll be delving into strange sightings at the site of a theatre that premiered the very first Dracula performance. They'll also be going to Derby Jail, which is reputedly the most haunted nick in Great Britain. That sounds fantastic. And they'll be going to the catacombs, which are underneath the old courts, where condemned men and women made their last journey before being hanged, drawn and quartered. It is all live. It's only here on Living TV. This is the home of Most Haunted Live. And also tonight, I want to say thank you very much indeed to our audience tonight, who have been fantastic. Thank you very much to all of them. It's been an incredible night. We need you to join us again here tomorrow night, 9 o'clock, live on Living TV. Until then, from all of us, good night.